nothing worth more that could ever come close. Nothing can compare your our living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves when my heart becomes free and my shame is a Tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is a. You know, we're talking about shame this week, and I think when, when we talk about shame, people naturally gravitate towards shame when they feel guilty about something. And there's a big difference between guilt and shame. Guilt can be good. You know, guilt can make you say, I shouldn't have done this, or I should do that. It kind of prods you to do something. Shame says, I'll never be good at this. Uh, I, I shouldn't have been born. You know, like shame is condemnatory, whereas guilt motivates you. Know the difference. And especially if you feel shame, there are so many scriptures, and I just want to share a couple from Isaiah that really help us to get the big picture that it is not God's intention for his people to feel shame. Maybe guilt, if, you, if you're working through something you shouldn't have done, you probably need to go and fix something. But if you're just feeling shame for no reason, listen to these scriptures. Isaiah 61, seven says, instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lot. And when it talks about a double portion, double portions were for firstborns. And so basically what Isaiah is reminding us here is that there's a bigger picture. And Israel is like the firstborn among all of uh, other, all of all of God's people. Basically, you're, you're his chosen people. Don't forget it. That's what he's saying. He's like, don't forget your special place. And then in Isaiah 28, 16, look at this is what the sovereign Lord says. Look, I am placing a foundation stone in Jerusalem, a firm and tested stone. It is a precious cornerstone that is safe to build on. Whoever believes need never be shaken. Just remember that today. If you believe and if you are following Jesus and if you love the Lord God with all your heart, there's no need to be ashamed. And today is a day that you can go forth and say, I will not be shaken. Let me pray for you. God, I pray that that would indeed be the case. That today especially, we would just get rid of these feelings of shame. 
and that we would embrace our true identity, which is loved by you. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.